An ex-president joins the U.S. Aquanaut Corps. Here's the story with Bill Featherduster. W's ex-officio period has been modeled after his father's, minus the part about helping poor people, filled with adventure. Whereas George Bush the Elder skydived with the Rangers, that is, until his unfortunate mid-air collision with a California condor over the Grand Canyon. Luckily, the condor lived. The sun also rises. He and his monkey friend, Captain Snooky Spaulding, have joined the U.S. Aquanaut Corps. W, tell us about your mission. Whale Bill, it's top secret. Are you sure nobody will hear this? Absolutely. It's for current TV. What we plan to do is place the Sea Lab 2021 near a big fault line off the Pacific coast. We hope to find a way to detect earthquakes before they happen and maybe even prevent them. We don't want one of them big waves like what they had in the Indian Ocean when I was in office. Tsunami? Kazunta. Why is this mission top secret? Well, if this information fell into the wrong hands, you can just imagine what could happen. That's why it's just me, my little buddy Spaulding, Commander Rip Ripkin, U.S. Navy, and my two deckhands, Olson and Johnson. So just the five of you? Well, we got one of them fish, too, to go back and forth between the mothership and the sea lab. Fish? Yeah, you know, what do you call them? Uh, I just had one for dinner last night, teriyaki style. Oh yeah, mahi-mahi. You mean dolphin? Same thing. You don't actually mean a dolphin fish or mahi-mahi, as they're sometimes called. What you're talking about is one of the mammalian dolphins. Now you're just trying to confuse me. Ain't they a football team? No, no. Mammals are a class, like fish are a class. I thought fish were in schools. Mammals are warm-blooded, give live birth, and nurse their young. Not Mamo. Where did you get the dolphin? The dolphin is a decorated Navy veteran of the war with Iran. And Commander Ripken is a Medal of Honor winning member of SEAL Team 6 who fought in Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq, Syria, North Korea, France. Hey, don't forget me, Bob. I'm a Vietnam-era veteran. You were in the Alabama Air National Guard, and you deserted. Yes, and did the Kong invade Tuscaloosa? What's it like working with war heroes? Frankly, the one kind of creeps me out. How so? PTSD from the war in Iran. Gee, that's a tough break for Commander Ripken. I mean the dolphin. And what about the monkey? Spaulding? Ah, he's my little bud. Some officials have complained about having a being of subhuman intelligence on a sensitive mission like this. Oh yeah? Give me their names. Nobody dishes my monkey. Oh, actually, they were talking about you. Hey, W. Am I on camera? Hi, Mom. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be anywhere after failed marriages to Paris Hilton, Dakota Fanning, Honey Boo Boo, President Clinton. You were married to Hillary Clinton? No, Chelsea. Now you got your life back together, huh? No, not really, but this is the only place I can avoid process savers. W, we'll drop anchor here. Prepare to lower Sea Lab. Aye, aye. Hee <laughs> I love the slang of your profession. Yeah, my monkey sense is tingling. Are you sure Olsen and Johnson are on the level? Yep. Vetted him myself. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Look, I know these guys. They're experienced deckhands. They've worked on oil tankers for the Carlisle Group. Oh, the company your poppy founded. That's right. With the Bin Ladens. Yeah, yeah, and Pop Pop Bush traded with Hitler. What's your point? Did you do any background checks on these guys? Of course I did. What kind of idiot do you think I am? You folks at home can write your own jokes, can't you? What did you find out? Well, they never rented any porn from Netflix. Probably busy watching Ingmar Bergman movies. Man, she was a hot piece of ass, wasn't she? Look, here's their passports. You can see for yourself. Yeah, if I could read Arabic. Not that part. The other part. You mean where it's written in crayon? Yep. Got them O's with the line through them and everything. Genuine Swedish. I don't think they're really Swedish. Why not? I never saw Lutherans who prayed three times a day towards Mecca. Eddie Mecca? Not exactly. You mean they're... Exactly. Finnish? Speaking of which, have you debriefed Finn yet? Who he? The dolphin. Is he one of them talking dolphins like in the moving pictures? Why does Fall speak to Pa? Fa loves Pa. Whatever. Hey, he ain't one of them dolphins what was unwittingly trained to assassinate the President of the United States, is he? Sadly, no. Okay, here he is. You talk, I'll translate. 
You speak dolphin? No, Finn speaks the king's English. I'll have to translate you. So you're Finn, huh? You can call me Dolph, and you can call me Finn, but don't you call me- Hey, knock off the Norm Crosby shit. Malaprops are my bag. Finn, you'll be bringing us supplies, and you'll also deliver messages back and forth. Okay, I can handle that. Okay, I debriefed Finn. You'll have to keep watch. We have no radio contact, so Finn is the only way we have to get a message to you in an emergency. You don't have to tell me. I know all about it. What? How to keep watch on the bridge. I audited a class at the Merchant Marine Academy taught by Joseph Hazelwood. Okay, I'm going to suit up. You'll be late for your own funeral. I certainly hope so. Speaking of funerals, where are the Olsen twins? After we lower Sea Lab to the bottom, our friends will take over. Then they will launch the nuclear missile that will cause a tsunami and wipe out California. Meanwhile, we take care of W. Ah, Why is my monkey sense tingling? No one move. We have box cutters. We are hijacking Sea Lab in the name of Allah. Well, here we go again. Finn, there are Al Qaeda stowaways aboard Sea Lab. Rips holding them off as best he can, but you've got to warn W that Olsen and Johnson are going to kill him. Go. Finn, stay with me. Finn, I've got to get back to Sea Lab. Warn W. Go. I'm all over it! Hehe! <laughs> <laughs> that Roadrunner gets the coyote every time. Now we take care of W. Hey, fellas! A talking fish? What is this, a dream? Nope. It's your worst fucking nightmare. First bath they've had since the Obama administration. Hey, monkey. Where did you come from? Who, me? Why, um, I've been to paradise. It's right through that door. Really? Let me see. Before you go, tell me something. Who put the F in Palestinians? Stupid monkey. There's no F in Palestinians. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. what I thought. I got those two guys on the boat, but I can't find W. Rip sent about a dozen of the terrorists to paradise, but I don't know how much longer he can hold out. You're gonna have to chew off the oxygen hose to Sea Lab. But you and Rip will die. We'll be okay. We've got our air suits. I've got to get back to Sea Lab. Go. Okay, monkey. Take off the air suit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, pal, I killed all your friends, but I guess I won't have to break a sweat killing you. In a few minutes, Sea Lab will be full of water and you'll drown. Doesn't matter. There is a nuclear missile on board with a timer. When it goes off, it will cause a tsunami and wipe out California. <laughs> Dubia, wake up! We've got to call in an airstrike! Huh? Why? If we don't, Al-Qaeda will destroy California. So? Ain't that a blue state? Colonel Kilgore, that was Commander Ripken of Sea Lab. He's called in an airstrike. An airstrike? 
Why? He says Al-Qaeda has hijacked Sea Lab and is going to set off a nuclear missile, causing a 500-foot crest which will destroy California. A 500-foot crest? Why didn't somebody tell me about this before? There's not a 500-foot crest in this whole crummy country! But sir, Al-Qaeda- Al-Qaeda don't surf. <laughs> We play Wagner! Scares the shit out of these wogs! Well, there goes the air hose. And as the air hose goes, so goes your fiendish plan, Ahab. Not so, monkey. You see that rocket? We stole it from your own navy. It is set to go off on a timer. When it hits the fault line, it will cause a tsunami and destroy California. That rocket? You mean that one right there? <laughs> What's so funny, monkey? That rocket in a man test missed its target ten times out of ten. <laughs> then you will fly it, monkey. If you think I'm flying that thing, you're crazy. I am crazy. And you are flying that thing. Well, okay, but just this once. And I will put on your air suit and escape. Hey, good luck with that. Let me know how it works out for you. Here comes the U.S. Cavalry. My poor little buddy. Spalding, go, man, go. I salvaged your wetsuit from Sea Lab. I forgot to tell Al Qaeda that it wouldn't fit him. What a stupid old whoopet I was. There's a radio beacon on your suit. The mothership will get your signal and pick you up. Why, you got a date? Yes. I met a nice boy dolphin. Oh. Gee, I, uh. Never knew you swung that way. I'm pregnant. Of course, I never looked that close. It's about time you rescued me. Well, buddy, you're okay. Where's Finn? Gone. Where'd he go? Don't know. Do you have any idea what the penalty is for desertion during wartime? Re-election to the presidency of the United States?